What's going on Show Nation, it's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, back at it with another video, and in this video I teased in the last video, uh, I wanted to talk about created players, uh, and where to put them, um, I basically made Patrick Mahomes uh, the second, uh, I made him 6'3", 230, which is pretty much what I googled, that's what they said like his general height was, but I really think that, honestly, as I've been grinding, he's been my best player, and I really think if you're thinking about shying away about making a creative player, especially on a budget team, uh, and you know stashing him in the bullpen or something like that, I really think uh, you really should put him in the field. Um, and I'm gonna go about how I built him so far. So for what I just, what path I'm gonna take is I am gonna go with the second baseman. And then I'm going to make him. Um, I'm going to make him a power focused uh, one. So you can see over there. I'm going to go with power focus over here for the 87, 81. And then I'm going to go with the balance. So he's going to have a ton of power, a ton of contact. And what I'm going to do is use the equipment uh, to boost his speed and to boost his fielding. And uh, he really has been a pretty dang good fielder. And there is something to say about having a second baseman with a good arm because normally your shortstop will be and it helps on a lot of like cutoff throws and stuff like that. So I have, I think like the, the spots that you would want to put him is this power second baseman. I think also like you look at like a, a uh, power shortstop as well i think that might not be uh too bad of an idea either but it just comes down to because i mean he gets a ton of power there as well like you would easily be able to boost that power up to over 100 i would think at least like close to 99 once you got done with him um so yeah th the reason i the other position you could uh probably try to boost up would be catcher uh, if you got the catcher, because you, then you can make a catcher with uh, a bunch of power and uh, a bunch of speed uh, by just, you know, at least it, it wouldn't have like a 99 speed, but maybe you get it up to um, 50, 60, so it'd be a pretty fast catcher. But there's so much that goes into the fact that you can get exactly the swing you want, which I highly recommend you guys use Corey Seeger. Like, you don't have to go into uh the batting stance creator i haven't messed with that at all i have chris sale for my pitching um all this stuff i always leave as default just because i don't like to screw around with uh any of this I've, just in the past i've noticed that like when you switch these animations up it can go a little wonky on you so i wouldn't recommend uh doing that if you're gonna do it but i just put Corey seager swing Leave all this stuff. I don't mess with the swing creator. If you have messed with the swing crea creator and found a really like cheesy swing, uh, let me know. But I just stick with Corey Seager. So basically, what I get out of this guy is a power hitting second baseman with a with the ability to switch hit with Corey Seager's swing. And uh, the one thing that you also uh, need to do is get an equipment. And here's the equipment I recommend. It's all pretty cheap. Two, uh, I was lucky enough to get these cleats uh, when I got the game. It was like one of the cards I got that's no sell, and these cleats are kind of expensive. But if you don't make them a catcher, you don't need any catcher's gear. And a lot of the equipment, too, there's like huge price differences. Take, for instance, this lizard skins bat grip. This is really cheap, and you're only going to get like a plus one to contact, plus one to everything else by going up to the next level. So you can get it for real cheap and I don't see a lot of the value in spending a lot of stubs unless you just have like unlimited stubs. I don't see a lot of the value in just going up the next level. Just get the silver and gold equipment and you'll be fine. It's way cheaper. Same thing with like the arm guard. Uh, same thing with the glasses. Just get a, a little boost. It won't cost you much. Uh, <clears throat> I have been flipping those hat for a bat, but I really just, uh, I might put that on. It's a, it's a pretty good thing to flip because I've been getting them at like 800 and then selling them for like 12 or 13 and they sell pretty fast. So I actually might flip that. I didn't even know that I had that. But <clears throat> the drive fast take chances, uh, that's what I've been using because you just get the speed. Uh, the rally mantis is just something I have that was like uh, just like the cleats I got for free with uh, buying the game or whatever. 
Uh, this is the bat I use. I like Old Hickory as far as the look of it, but I really like the power and contact. Again, this is another item you can flip. It's only about a thousand stubs. Uh, the best batting gloves, in my opinion, that are gold are the Rawlings Workhorse. Uh, just it gives you stuff to the stats that matter. Uh, batting close doesn't matter, but you get contact, power, and play vision. They run like 600, 300 without checking them. Now this glove, this is the best glove in my opinion for what it gives you. Plus six to fielding, six to arm, and four to accuracy. And I actually had the diamond version of this glove. Uh, the diamond version of this glove's like <clears throat> 10,000 to 8,000. I just uh, I bought it for like 8,000, just flipped it at 10 and got this glove. Way cheaper, and you're barely you're losing like plus three I think, but you're not losing that much. So I'm, I guess what my point is is like. You can easily boost this guy up with uh, getting like a little bit of equipment. And long term, you can really boost them up if you want to start buying uh, better equipment. But those are like the equipments that I would definitely uh, go after. Uh, the shin guard I just have is a real basically. A shin guard is another thing. It's like why? You only get plus three to bat and clutch and plus one to durability. So it really doesn't even matter. Uh, you definitely like to get the diamond one of this doesn't make any sense to get the diamond one of this I mean at least you get a little bit more arm but you're only talking like plus two arm and if you have them at second base like what's the difference you know like it's not like it's a huge difference where you can just the silver is way better value than some of the other stuff so just a quick video about the creative players uh, I'm going to do my next video I think is going to be about uh, pretty much what I consider looking through all the cards in the community market uh, if you had like a dream lineup um, you know if you could buy any cards in here and put together a lineup that's what I'm going to do next especially with like position players I don't know how much I'm gonna get into starting pitching and bullpen and stuff like that but there's definitely some players that like with their quirks they would be the best lineup and then i'm going to show you guys my lineup uh it's a budget lineup i put 45 dollars on the game i had like five bucks on my playstation wallet and i had 40 bucks i put on here because what i did when i bought the game is i bought the standard version of the game instead of buying like the hundred dollar version and i just put 40 dollars on in subs plus that extra five that i had so i'll show you guys what kind of team i'm building to get through uh conquest extreme and it's working out uh real nicely for me so i'll update you guys on that so it'll be the next two videos one about the best team that you can build and so maybe like you'll look at that best team and be like that's a player that i want to get uh, and i can teach you more about the quirks and then i also will show you how i'm building my team and how my team is i feel real confident in it so that's a little bit about the creative player. Uh, if you're not using it, I would really consider using it, man. Switch hitting with the best swing, Corey Seager, in my opinion. Uh, he can build up his stats really cheaply through cheap equipment. And he's honestly probably the best player uh, on my team. And he's only uh, 78, I think that's where I'm at. So I'm about to have to go and uh, do some more of these missions. But they're pretty easy. Just some stats. 20 putouts, I just noticed. For this next one you have to exchange a little bit uh so far i'm sure you'll have to exchange more and all that but uh the reason i also didn't make him a catcher is because i'm gonna get that yadier molina from conquest and i just think like you might as well just get the molina or um just get the molina or get me like gary sanchez or something even though gary's pretty expensive and also when i looked at these uh collectors as the game goes on throughout the year because um, I am still thinking about making a, uh, a shortstop at well, but I like this shortstop a lot. <laughs> I like, uh, this is a, Tulowitzki is really solid, got a great swing. Uh, 60 is like, to me, the power number you need to hit home runs. So if you're in the 70s, you can easily hit home runs. And then 94 arm strength and 62 speed, like that's a really... Really solid card, one of my favorite cards going back to MLB 16. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, drop a like, hit that notifications bell, sub, all that stuff. And until the next video, guys, have a great day. Peace.